What's up, Lacrosse Magazine? This is Steel Stanwick, and I'm gonna show you the Cordis Lacrosse Center today. Come on in here. This is our, uh, our front hallway at the Cordis Lacrosse Center. Uh, up on the, uh, on the top there, you can see it says Hopkins Lacrosse. We must find a way or make one. And that's just a saying that Coach Tucker and Coach Petromalo, when the build, building was being built, that's something that they just agreed on that kind of defined this program. You look down here, here's the, the Blue Jay head. It's kind of roped off here. Uh, to, give you, to give you that kind of like sacred feel. Uh, no one's supposed to step on it, so we do a good job of respecting that as we go through. Right here are the, uh, the two Tiffany boxes. These are the men's most recent national championships. On the left is the 05 championship, and on the, uh, on the right is the 07 championship. And in the background, you got all the, the last names of everyone that was on that team, which is pretty neat that, that, they, uh, that they do that. You got a mannequin here, which is the jerseys that the, the men are wearing in their games, and, and uh, their helmets and all that good stuff. If you, if you roll over here, uh, we got our, uh, the men's most recent uh, rings, or actually all their NCAA rings. The back one is the 1974, and it goes all the way up to their most recent 2000, 2007 ring. You can see as, as the years go on and the rings get a little bit bigger and there's a little bit more, a uh, couple more diamonds in all the rings. Um, up there is just all the trophies that the men have earned throughout their time here, which is pretty neat. So obviously a ton of tradition here, and uh, we certainly feel lucky to be a part of it. On this plaque right here, you have the Cordish family. Again, they're, they're, they're a huge part of, of, of this building being here, so we obviously want to pay tribute to them and Mr. Cordish, so just we couldn't be more thankful for, for them. So we put that plaque on our way over onto the, to the women's side. The, the way the building is built up, uh, the left side is the women's side, the right side is the men's side. So we'll go through the women's side first as I show you through here. So come on back. Every time I go in the locker room, I have to give it a little knock just to make sure um, we're all good, so I'll, I'll give you the all clear uh, heads up. Hello? Anyone in here? Coach Chan, we're coming in. All right, we're good, we got the all clear. Okay, so this is our, uh, our locker room. It's certainly something that we're, we're proud of, something to be, that the girls like to call home, okay? Um, we're, you're just kind of surrounded by, uh, by Coach Tucker and her scenes and, and kind of what we preach here at, at the Hopkins Women's Lacrosse team. Um, you know, there's, there's murals all over the place, uh, play with joy, which is something that Coach Tucker says uh, a ton, um, you know, quotes, you know, attitude, mindset, work ethic, you know, that's the type of stuff that we want to surround ourselves with. You have more, more murals over here, and then you have your two couches here that the girls, you know, whether they just want to hang out, do homework, just watch TV, we kind of want to make this a place that they want to be, um, you know, provide an, an environment that they, they kind of want to be up here all the time. And, I think we've done that, you know, when they're not in school, when they're not in class, they're up here uh, hanging out, and, and I, don't, I don't think we'd want it any other way. You have your big TV in the front, okay, and then you got your two, you got two big TVs in, in the back. Hey girls, what's up? You guys can come on in. Yeah. That's Maggie and Emily. Maggie and Emily say hey. Um, so, you know, they got everything you need. Everyone has their own locker. Um, they have their own box code where you can plug in what your, your code and you have your, uh, you know, there's a phone charger back there so that you can, you know, charge your, uh, charge your phone. So there's no excuse for, for, for not responding to, uh, to any of the coaches' texts, your parents' texts, all that stuff. So, so that's all set up. As you come on back through here, okay, you can just see, you know, obviously we're, you know, they get everything you need when, when, when you're a college, uh, college athlete. You know, we're sponsored by Nike and STX, so they provide uh, everything that we need. And again, you know, if you lift up, everyone's got their own bottom part. Okay, that top part, enough space for everything. And the girls do a pretty good job of, of keeping it pretty clean for the most part. Okay, so we're gonna head out into the hallway, leave in the locker room, all right? And the first thing that I'll show you here is uh, just on this wall, it's just some of the, our, our great former players at, at John Hopkins University. Um, you know, Mary Key, Jen Ward, Francine Brennan. Um, so, you know, we just like to p p play tribute to them. Um, certainly we're gonna have to keep adding onto that wall as time goes on and uh, and, and make that a, a little bit, bit bigger. And now over on the other side of the wall, we have uh, the girls who've been on the USA developmental team, the USA team. Um, and again, we're gonna have to add on to that with, with Taylor DeMore uh, being on the US team. And actually Sarah Taylor, one of our seniors who graduated last year, uh, was on the England national team. So being on Team USA, USA, that's the highest honor on the women's side of the cross. There's no pro league, so we, we certainly like to, to acknowledge our girls who've, who've gotten to the highest level. So that's why we, we've uh, paid tribute to them. So on this wall over here, as we turn the corner, okay, you have all the IWLCA All-Americans um, dating back from 1986 all the way 
up till, till now. Um, and again, we're just trying to kind of build our own history and we're doing whatever ever we can to, to kind of pay tribute to our girls. And just like the guys have built their tradition, we're trying to kind of build ours. Okay, now I'm gonna take you guys into the, the training room, the game day training room. In this room, this is where we'll do all of our post-game, uh, pre-game, post-practice type treatment. So anything you need before or after practice, you can get in here. Everything you need, you have in here, you have six training tables, bike, heating pads, ice and stim machines, Norma Tech machines, right? Anything you need, our training staff does a great job of getting our players ready to go. If you keep coming in through here, all right, you'll see the, uh, the therapy pool, and the therapy pool, that, is, uh, that goes cold and hot, but we, we only keep it on cold, and that is just strictly ice bath recovery. Now I'm gonna take you guys in the team meeting room. This is the team theater, okay? And in here, this is where we'll do all of our big team meetings, our big scouting reports. Anything that we do as a team, whether it's a, a team movie, a team meeting, again, the scouting report, anything we do that we need to do that involves them, we, we come in here and this is just a great, great uh, facility uh, and environment, um, you know, great learning environment. The way it works is you come over here and I control everything, anything that I want to do, I control from this rack panel over here. So I hit the, the touch screen, the projector kind of comes down, right, and then I'm hooking up my computer and we're either breaking down film, showing, showing whatever we need to show the girls. You're surrounded by, by uh, somewhat of greatness. All the, uh, all the MLO jerseys on the, on the walls. Okay, that's all the, uh, you know, not all, that's just some, a handful of uh, some of the, the men's side Blue Jays that have, uh, are playing in the, in the Major League Lacrosse League, which is, which is the highest honor for the men. Okay, we made our way out of the theater, and now you kind of enter into the men's side of the world, right? As the, on the men's side of the world, you, they have this awesome kind of uh, wall scoreboard countdown to their next game. Uh, great idea. They got their two helmets that the men are using currently right now. Um, and the building is very much, uh, they just mirror each other. So the women's side's on the left, the men's side's on the right. We've made our way onto the right side, just like how they have their wall of greatness. We kind of, they kind of have theirs. Um, just filled with, with some of their, their, just their, their best players. Uh, Del Dressel, Kyle Harrison, oil up right here, team captain. Uh, Terry Reardon, one of the best uh, lefty attackers in the game. Obviously, Paul Rabel and, uh, and Doug Turnbull. Just again, just a handful of, uh, of some of their great players. And then on the wall here, just some of their, uh, their screenshots of kind of the history, their greatness. Now I'm just gonna take you guys up to the top floor, which is where all the offices are all the, uh, the conference rooms, study hall, uh, lounges, all that stuff. First room I'll take you into is the hospitality suite. Everything in the hospitality suite is, uh, is set up again just to make uh, the players comfortable. All these rooms are shared by the men's and women's team. So uh, again, we do a good job of sharing the building and, and making sure it's, it's for use of everybody. In, in, in this room, okay, you can do homework like Josie's doing right now. You can just hang out, you can watch TV, you can play Xbox, hang out, take naps, whatever you want to do. Again, it just kind of depends on every day, it's kind of used for maybe something a little different. I like coming here to hang out, get some homework done. There's obviously a great view. Um, you can always watch like whichever teams are hanging out, practicing, having a catch out on the field, which is kind of fun. Um, watch the football games, soccer games. So yeah, it's a great view and it's a good place to do work. This is the women's side, you can see on the pictures on the side. Again, trying to kind of build that history. And this is where my office is, Coach Tucker's and, and uh, Coach Tara's offices are. Welcome, this is my office. Um, this is where I do all of my work. This is where I spend most of my time. But uh, you can see, surrounded by some, some Ravens, some Baltimore flair, you got a Cal Ripken poster. You know, obviously a great view, whether I'm watching you know, the men's team play or soccer, football, whatever. It's a, a great little distraction if you're trying to get away from some work and throw on the TV. Again, I try and keep that off though, just so I can kind of stay focused. That's kind of it, there's not much, there's not much going on in here, to be honest. Just uh, a lot of, just breaking down some film, study hall meetings, individual meetings, whatever it is. Yeah, this is, this is my home away from home. All right, oh, we're ambushing her. Okay. Come on in. This is, this is the beautiful Coach Tucker's office. Hi guys. She's my, uh, my boss, she keeps me in line, tells me what to do, not to do. And uh, she's got the, the corner office. She's, She's got the, uh, the best one for sure. Welcome to the Cordis Center. Hey everybody, welcome again to the Cordis Lacrosse Center and to my office here in the CLC. Um, we're very blessed to have such an awesome facility and something that I like to tell my girls on a regular basis is a $10 million building deserves a $10 million effort 
in the classroom and on the lacrosse field. So there's a ton of motivation here to perform well in the classroom and on the field. We hope you enjoy your tour. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. That's like, no, first take. That was first take. <laughs> here we go. Ambusher. Hi. This is Coach Tara's office. <laughs> Defensive well coordinator, associate head coach and my um, second boss. <laughs> yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying your tour. Do you want to say anything more than that? Uh, I think CT and you still show. I think. I think you should come back later and get a couple quotes. <laughs> so this is our study hall lounge. This is, uh, again, this room can be used for just hanging out, but mostly it's used for studying. They can get on the computer, print out papers. Um, again, you're kind of surrounded by the Hopkins history and tradition and things like that. On those, this wall, uh, you know, it says more than just lacrosse. It, the alumni wrote a letter, what it, what it meant for them to be a Blue Jay. You know, there's, yeah, Paul Rabels is on there, Harry's, Kyle Harrison's is on there. Here are just some of the, the Hopkins jerseys from all different eras on the men's side. Again, always kind of paying tribute to the tradi tradition and history on the men's side. So you could probably find a jersey from every era uh, in there. Um, as you make your way down here, okay, again, start to see pictures of national championships, just some of the great highlight moments of, uh, of the Hopkins uh, tradition. If you follow me, this is the Bill Belichick film room. Okay, This is just a, a smaller film room, just a small version of the theater downstairs. And up here, you know, we can do just smaller team meetings, whether I just want to meet with attackers or middies or defenders. You can come in here. It's, it's, it's small enough. It's kind of a little bit more personal, but it's got the same bells and whistles as downstairs and um, certainly a, uh, a great, great facility that we use quite often. Yeah, so now walking back to the women's side, I'll just walk you through the timeline of Homewood Field, um, something when the building was built that they put in timeline. So 1907 was when uh, Homewood Field was built. And if you follow it all the way up, it goes all the way up to 2012 to when the Course Cross Center was built. Okay, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the Course Cross Center, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. See ya. So once I have Mike squared up, I want to come at him and I want to jab either way and go the other way. So in this case, Mike's giving me his top right foot, so I want to open him up and take him down my left side. So little hitches and being able to fake and shoot out of it. 